For centuries, humans have asked whether life exists beyond planet Earth. The European Space Agency is now working to satisfy that very curiosity by sending a satellite to a number of Jupiter's moons and looking for signs of alien life. Will Jupiter's moons be able to give us some answers? Will Europe be the first to discover extraterrestrial life? A six-ton spacecraft known as the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE, will blast into space for an eight-year mission. But this spacecraft will be on a rather unique mission. It will not go to the local destinations like Mars. It will fly into deep space and survey the icy moons of Jupiter. Now, this new chapter for the, in the hunt for extraterrestrial life will witness the first mission to specifically explore remote planets and reserves of water that scientists say exist in planets in deep space. So why exactly would scientists choose to explore the moons of Jupiter? Scientists say in order for alien life to exist, a planet needs to have internal energy and liquid water. The icy moons of Jupiter have both these elements, experts believing that the moons have more water as compared to Earth's. In fact, Jupiter has a total of three main moons. They can be seen as worlds of ice that are covered with vast oceans of water. No wonder they are called icy moons. The Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer will concentrate on uh, Ganymede, which is the largest moon in the solar system. The spacecraft will enter into permanent orbit around it. And this will in fact be the first time a spacecraft will orbit around a moon other than our own. Astronomers say the moons are the next best place to look for life. As in 2005, scientists discovered that Saturn's tiny moon continuously sprays water and organic material into space from an underground ocean. So how exactly will the satellite try to find alien life? The Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer will do a series of flybys of Jupiter along with its three giant ocean-bearing moons. It will also be using an upgraded set of equipment to examine the gas giant. The satellite will also study Jupiter's satellites and try to find signs that could potentially sustain life. But the ambitious mission could also face certain risks. Scientists say that the spacecraft will enter a portion of the solar system which is almost unknown. The moons are also very dangerous to orbit as they create a hostile atmosphere. The toughest part will be to reach Jupiter because the closer you go to the gas giant, the more difficult it gets to maneuver the spacecraft. But this is not the only mission going to Jupiter. NASA's Europa Clipper, which will take a shorter route compared to JUICE, will arrive near Jupiter by 2030. The US spacecraft will focus on the Europa moon and will make 50 close approaches around a few hundred miles over its surface. Although the two missions are separate, both the space agencies will work in collaboration and have set up a committee to coordinate the joint missions. So could this be the beginning of more missions into deep space? Could the coming decades see us communicating with alien life? We will see this as more space missions unravel the mysteries of deep, deep space. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.